our first show with Very Town, Very Funny Man. You may have seen him on NBC, on Nickelodeon, NPR. Yeah, there you go. Please welcome Rajiv Satyal, everybody. Rajiv! Keep it going, everybody, for your host, Jimmy. Uh, let him know, let him know. One more time. Jimmy, everybody. All right. Well, as you uh, probably guessed, I'm originally from Ohio. Uh, and, uh, been in Cali for seven years. I love it. Um, Indian, do we have any Indian people here tonight? Oh, a few, a couple people coming in late, sitting in the back. All right, very nice. Well, we just won the uh, Miss America pageant. That was an Indian America. Yeah, that was a kind of a cool thing. Um, I think the most beautiful women in the world, of course, are uh, Persian, actually. Um, they're really hot. I don't know. Do we have any Persian women here tonight? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, no, you don't need to... <laughs> That's my time. Good night. No, I'm not going to top that. Oh. That was amazing. Funny. Is it really Persian over there, anyone? No, okay, now they disappear, just like uh, Bomber Wood. <laughs> okay, we're gone. Okay, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, all right. <laughs> okay, great. And it's funny though, Persians call themselves Persians instead of Iranians. I don't know if they've looked at a map in the last thousand years, there is no Persia anymore. You, know, you don't meet someone from Iraq, oh, I'm Mesopotamian. No, that's done. You know what I mean? I mean, like some Mexican guy, I'm um, Aztec, I say. No, you are not Aztec. <laughs> update it, man, let's do this. Uh, I, uh, actually, I worked in an office for years uh, back in Ohio. My manager was black. Uh, well, he probably still is, I just haven't seen him in a while. <laughs> That'd be so weird. Calvin, what happened? <laughs> I got promoted. Uh, <laughs> Uh, see, I'm glad you're laughing at these because, you know, every, not all my jokes have punchlines, okay? So every joke contains a premise and a punchline, okay? That, that's the way every joke works. And there's actually a, a comedy club up in San Francisco called The Punchline. And I do really well up there, but I could really destroy at a club called The Premise. You know what I mean? Like, if all I have to do is just set up the joke and walk away, I could really, really wreck a room like that. Um, if anyone has uh, ever been to a 3D movie, I'm sure a lot of us have been to a 3D movie. You, ever, you know, they give you like the red and blue glasses, you put them on, and you ever do this thing like in the middle of the movie where you take the glasses off just to see what the movie looks like without the glasses on? It's crazy. <laughs> you ever drive in your car and, uh, and you, you looked out at the odometer and it's like 9,992. They're like 9,993, 9,994. You're like, dude, I'm gonna be in the car for like another seven miles. I'm gonna be there when it turns 10,000. I'm gonna see it happen, you know? And then you like go through a drive-thru and check your phone or something. You look down, it's like 10,003 and you're like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I messed up. <laughs> you ever sit on your, uh, on your couch, you got like your laptop or whatever, your iPad or whatever, and like you're typing an email to somebody, you're watching TV in the background. You ever do this thing like where you type a word and they say the word on TV at the exact same time that you type it? And you're like, oh. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> so stupid. Oh, God. You ever have people over for a dinner party and uh, you serve like red wine or something and um, you know, like, if you serve the wine and, the, and you don't clean the glasses that night, you go there the next morning in the kitchen and all the glasses have, like, that red, crusty thing at the bottom of the glass. Oh, you should clean it the night before. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. Uh, <laughs> I actually, uh, I actually just broke up with my girlfriend uh, recently, and, um, thanks, you care. Um, and that's all. And, uh, I was telling a friend of mine, I was telling a friend of mine, like, I was like, you know, I think I might be depressed. And he goes, uh, you're not depressed. You can get out of bed in the morning so you're not depressed. I'm like, that was the worst diagnosis I've ever heard. <laughs> like, one symptom, you got this? Like, wait a second, like that is not, and he's a doctor, by the way, this guy. 
And um, it's amazing. And like he sees the world as completely binary, like good, bad, black, white. That's it, you know. He, he, the kind of doctor he should be, he should be a coroner, you know, alive, dead. That's it. That should be his job. He would rock that job. He'd be very good at it. So some of my friends now are like, oh, you know, oh, you know, you shouldn't be depressed. You should like watch some inspirational stuff. Like a friend of mine was like, oh, you know, you should check out this documentary on Helen Keller. Like it's so inspiring, you know. Like you could see this woman, you know, who's like she was deaf and she was dumb and she was blind and she became like accomplished all of this stuff. And I'm like, that's not inspiring. This is a woman a hundred years ago who had half of her faculties and became super famous. I've got all my senses. I'm doing the Ice House on a Saturday night, okay? You know what I mean? Like, come on. Like, that's, that's the most depressing thing I've ever... That wasn't helpful at all. Um, I, uh, I'm not gay, by the way. I wanted to point that out. Um, <laughs> that wasn't the joke, but thank you for laughing anyway. I appreciate that. Uh, I'm not gay, I, I, but I have nothing against uh, gay men. They're very loyal. They always have your back. Um, <laughs> I could say that, I can say that, because I'm homophobic. No, um, I actually say that because my brother's gay, and that's actually true. Uh, my brother's gay, uh, recently came out of the closet. Uh, well, we're Indian, so he came out of the cupboard. And, um, <laughs> remember he sat down with my parents and he told them, it's like, you know, the reason I have brought a girl home for so many years is I'm gay. And the room got very tense and very awkward, kind of like it did just now. Um, <laughs> but it wasn't as hard as the conversation I had to have with my parents when I said the reason I haven't brought a girl home for so many years is I'm a loser. <laughs> they suspected for a while, and it's, it's true. Uh, some of my friends are very particular with the kind of women they say they want to date. They say they only date black women, they only date white women, they only date Latina women. To me, you're all beautiful. I mean, the pretty ones. And, um, <laughs> You guys have been a lot of fun. Thank you very, very much, guys. Enjoy the rest of the night. Thank you. And happy birthday, Ice House. <laughs>